made you breakfast, fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us, we got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys, I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun, growing up is just a trap. Just a bit fat trail. I take pride in ever working that day. Can't see the use of it anyway. Who can think I'm such a lord of crowd? Growing up is just a trail. Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing our haul for March. It's a fill-in haul. I did a one big, huge one month haul at the beginning of the month. I will link that below for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. This is just fresh stuff that we needed, milk, fresh fruits and veggies that we can't make last, you know, the whole month. But I always try to get everything that we're gonna need for recipes, for dinners, all the ingredients ahead of time and then just fill in with a fresh haul. So all of it's taken care of and then this part is just easy to go get and you know refill everybody some fresh stuff so there is one thing that i did get that is not for the haul it's not for anything um i just can't ever find it so i grabbed it so i'll tell you what that is but let me go ahead and show you what i got all right so i spent about 90 dollars. it's 89 something so i rounded it up to 90 dollars. um i got four gallons of milk four crescent rolls okay so I didn't get crescent rolls in my um, one month haul. I did order them, but they were out. So I went ahead and grabbed them now. So that would have been in the beginning of the month, but like I said, it wasn't, um, they didn't have them. So I got them this time. I got some Parmesan cheese. I got a lot of things to make um, homemade Caesar salads. So um, the Parmesan cheese is for that. I got six cans of corn. I only pulled two out, the other four over there in the bag, but um, this is something that I haven't been able to find at our Aldi or our Walmart lately is corn. So I went ahead and grabbed six cans to throw downstairs while I could find them. So that has nothing to do with the month. It was just, I noticed that we don't really have much corn left downstairs. And every time I try to get it, I can't find it. So I got it and found it and I'm putting six of those downstairs. I got two things of Caesar salad because we have been loving Caesar salad lately and I've just been making our own. So I grabbed two of those, like I said, with the Parmesan cheese. Um, I got two bags of sweet potatoes. These also I tried to order from Aldi and from Walmart at the beginning of the month and they were out. So I'm glad I was able to get those. I got a watermelon, two pineapples, and some croutons for our um, salads. This, so I ordered two of these from Walmart. And from what I could tell, it said that they didn't have any and they had substituted two of these. So, um, what happened was when we left Walmart, we went to Martin's to pick up my mom's order from Martin's because my mom is here visiting. So, because Walmart told me they didn't have any romaine, mom, my mom went into Martin's and she bought this so we could have Caesar salad. And then we get home, so my mom paid for this, and then we get home and we find out that there actually is romaine and these. So now we have lots of lettuce. Um, and then I did get this spring mix because we have been making not only just um, Caesar salads, but also regular salads. So I got this as well. I got two things of asparagus because right now it's $1.98 at our Walmart, and I think that's a really good price. And my husband loves asparagus. 
Also, I really want to try to freeze dry some. I've been seeing people do it a lot and it looks like a good snack. I don't know. So possibly if they don't get eaten, we'll throw them in the freeze dryer, but I'm sure they'll get eaten before then. I also just got regular lettuce, broccoli, some green peppers, two cucumbers, some grape tomatoes, kiwis, blueberries, and strawberries. And I think I said bananas and avocado. I got two bags of avocado. And let me tell you, I saw a tip on avocados. Do not leave them on the counter. Throw them in the fridge. They will last forever. I have still have some in the fridge. I swear I've had them for over a month. I don't know that I even got any in the month haul. They're still in the fridge. Like they haven't even turned brown yet. You can pull them out a day or two before, leave them on the counter and they will turn brown. It is the best tip I've ever seen to keep avocados ripe. We love avocado. We like to eat it just as is or on avocado toast, just as a snack, like I said, um, with meals. We love to have them around, but I could never keep them around because it, I don't know. But anyway, throw them in the fridge. They will last forever. So to go along with these meals coming up this week for the 13th, we have sausage, egg and cheese biscuits and hash browns for breakfast. I always do leftovers or you're on your own for lunch on the weekends. It just makes it easier. It helps clear out the fridge, not waste leftovers, all of that. Um, steak, baked potato, mac and cheese and broccoli for dinner with Outback bread and pretzels for dessert. The 14th, I have chia pudding and toast and then tuna for lunch, bacon, cream cheese, stuffed chicken with garlic, Parmesan, potato wedges, and Brussels sprouts for dinner on Monday the 14th with cheesy garlic bread and brownies for dessert. And then the 15th, I have peanut butter, honey, and banana wraps um, with yogurt parfait for breakfast, turkey, cucumber roll-ups for lunch, like turkey and cucumber um, rolled up in like a tortilla kind of thing with some, I don't know, some kind of spread that I make. And then carnitas with cilantro, lime rice, black beans for dinner, strawberry cream cheese pie. It's something I saw and I was like, wow, that looks so good. So hopefully I end up making that. And then Wednesday the 16th, a baked oatmeal with fruit, chicken nuggets for lunch, stuffed pepper skillet with applesauce for dinner and some rolls, and then ice cream cones for dessert. The 17th is a Thursday and it's cinnamon rolls, eggs and fruit for breakfast, taco sticks for lunch, and we always do leftovers or something very easy because the girls have gymnastics and we're gone from 4.30 to 7. So I need something that's kind of, we can have as soon as we walk in the door. So I usually do um, leftovers or a crock pot meal, or like I said here, chef salads or breakfast, something. And then chocolate ooey gooey butter cake for dessert. And then the 18th oatmeal pinwheels for lunch, um, Philly cheese steaks with onion rings and salad for dinner and popcorn. We always do Friday night movie and popcorn night. And then the 19th, we have potatoes and eggs and toast for breakfast. Again, leftovers for dinner, beef stroganoff, peas, and sweet bread for dinner. Um, I just said that. And then jello poke cake for dessert. I'm not sure which one. There are so, so, so many different options that you can make here. Um, so just whatever we feel like making or whatever. But also, I haven't been making that many desserts. I do plan for one every night, but we don't always make them. So, um, like if you look here, I didn't make, didn't make, didn't make, I made something, made something, made something, made, uh, didn't make, made, didn't make, like I plan for it, but that doesn't mean that it's always going to happen. So that is everything to go along with just fresh meals and fresh salads and all of that that we're going to need for the week. Like I said, already have all the ingredients that we need for our meals coming up. So make sure that you're watching all the daily videos. You'll see all this food being put to use. I share all of our breakfast, lunch, dinners. We eat at home pretty much every single meal of every single day. So, so far, what is this? March 11th, 12th, something. I don't know. We've eaten out one time for dinner and that's it. So we are still growing, going strong. So yeah, we eat lots of food around here. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.